When I say Midwest, what comes to mind? Can you make a picture in your mind of what you think the Midwest looks like? The Midwest region of the United States includes 12 states in the middle of the United States. Our essential question today is what are the geographic characteristics of the Midwest region of the United States? By the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe what makes the Midwest states unique. The physical geography of the Midwest consists of flat land with river basins. The Great Plains are broad, level stretches of land. The Midwest is well populated because soil is good for farming and railroads and highways are easily built between towns. The population in the Midwest consists of many large cities, including Chicago, Indianapolis, St. Louis, Minneapolis-St. Paul, Cleveland, Milwaukee, and Detroit. The population in the region is evenly distributed. The population is denser along the Great Lakes. As you can see on the map on the left, the Great Lakes touch many of the states in the Midwest. This helps the cities in the Midwest move farm goods and manufactured products from one location to another. The economy in the Midwest is driven by dairy farms, fruit orchards, and cornfields, along with manufacturing in urban cities along the Great Lakes like Cleveland, Detroit, and Chicago, and shipping on the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River. Historically, the Midwest was considered the western frontier as our country expanded from its original 13 colonies in the Northeast. Historically, the Midwest has been known as the breadbasket of the United States, as this is also an agricultural region. The Midwest is also known for its manufacturing. It's a blue collar hub of the United States automotive industry. The culture in the Midwest has been shaped by various immigrant groups which causes ethnic, racial, and religious diversity in the cities. Sometimes the Midwest is known as the Bible Belt, referring to its religious roots. The cuisine reflects the culture and physical diversity. Chicago-style pizza, Polish bakeries, Wisconsin cheese, and Michigan's apple cider mills and fruit orchards. Part of the Midwest is considered the Great Plains. It's the strip of states through the center of the country, including Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota. The population of these Great Plains states can be summed up in one word, rural. Rural means living in the country. The economic activity in this region consists of agriculture and farming. Wheat, corn, and cattle ranches make up most of the geographic area in the Great Plains. The Great Plains consists generally of grasslands. This area receives little rainfall. It has cold winters, especially in the northern areas, and some tornadoes because the land is so flat the wind can just blow straight across these Great Plains. Let's do a quick check of your understanding of the Midwest region. The geographic theme of movement is represented in the Midwest by business in Chicago, farming in the plains, shipping on the Great Lakes. The theme of movement is represented by shipping goods on the Great Lakes. Rural means living by the lake, living in the country, living in the city. Rural means living in the country. We mentioned that the Great Plains is mostly rural. Now that we finished the lesson, I hope you can make a picture in your mind of what the Midwest looks like.
In our next lesson, we'll move on to another region of the United States.